There can come a time in anyone's life when they're faced with tough decisions and difficult challenges. It's how that person handles adversity that makes them who they are. The person you're about to meet has certainly faced adversity, but in his own way has managed to reach the top, but not without hitting the bottom first. Fox leader Jennifer Steck joins us with the story of a man who has beaten the odds, a medical condition, to find success. It's a special assignment report. Epilepsy is a life-changing medical condition, and that's exactly what it did to Mike Belair. One seizure back in 1996 changed his whole life. He's been paying for it ever since. It wasn't until he had hit rock bottom while being homeless that his life would turn in a completely different direction, a direction that has given him success and the experience of a lifetime. Just when Mike Belair found a job he loved, a disability he was diagnosed with at the age of 13 and was controlled by medication, proved him to be a liability. I knew I, that's, this, this is the job that I wanted to do. And because of the epilepsy, I, I was unable to continue. In. It was 1996 when Mike lost his job as a volunteer firefighter and EMT in Lake Township. The next 13 years would prove to be a challenge. He admits it was his epilepsy that prevented him from landing jobs in the auto industry and beyond. A lot of good paying jobs that I, I have lost or could have had, um, but don't because of that. So, you know, I'd really hate to think, you know, where that could have led to from there, moving up in the, the fire department um, or, you know, moving up at, at you know, like GM or getting hired in at Chrysler or something. Unable to find a steady, well-paying career, Mike would settle for mostly minimum wage jobs. But even with the help of a family friend, he would soon find himself on the verge of rock bottom. About midsummer, uh, it seems like uh, I was getting paid, you know, short uh, and late. And that snowballed into, you know, an eviction notice, uh, and then I had to move out. Now, with no help from family or friends, nowhere else to go, Mike swallowed his pride and made a life-changing decision. Walking in that door, from from my car to the door, I don't know, probably 120 feet. You know, there was. It, it was gut-wrenching and you know, nerve-wracking, and then to swallow all the pride that you thought you had, and then to come in and think, okay, I thought I had it bad before, <laughs> now I know what bad is. Mike would call the Cherry Street Mission home from October 2009 to August 2010. It wasn't until he was diagnosed with depression that he was able to qualify for a program that would soon have him living on his own. But it was actually his time in the mission that he discovered what he really wanted to do in life. He applied to be a service coordinator at Cherry Street, never knowing he would soon be having the experience of a lifetime. I actually went home and cried for a little bit when they told me I got the job. I mean, I was so happy. I was going to have a job. And it wasn't just a job. You know, because I, I probably could have went out to McDonald's or, you know, a fast food joint anywhere and got a job. But I wanted this job. As Mike puts it, he found a sense of purpose again, patched up his relationship with God, but more importantly, no matter how many times he was knocked down, he always got back up. Giving up is not an option in, in my life. Just to have, you know, a sense of purpose and, and to know that, okay, what I'm doing is making a difference, not in my life, but in the men at the mission. It's for them. That's why I'm here because I was one of them. Now Mike said if you asked him 10 years ago if he thought he would be working at the Cherry Street Mission as a service coordinator, having the experience of a lifetime, he would say you're nuts. But he would also tell you he wouldn't have it any other way. On special assignment tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News. Thank